ladies and gentlemen, I, I want, first of all, to, to welcome all of you to this meeting, especially to Madame Azulay, General Director of, of UNESCO, Vice Chair of this Commission, and to the new members of the Commission that are with us today. Since the Commission was formed to create conscience in the governments and the society of the importance of the network and the broadband, like the nervous system of the new civilization that has a exponential growth and have been driver, driving, driving charges, changes, excuse me, driving changes, uses at, and speeds of the broadband. We were talking at the beginning of five, one mega, five megas, broadband begin with 250 kilobytes before dialogue was 56 kilobytes, and now we are talking about 100 megas. This is a, a big change and it's growing. Broad, broadband was only available on those times in landline of the fixed telecom, and there were some pessimism about the possibility and the profitability of mobile and wireless broadband. Today, both are part of all the networks. Uh, uh, in the evolution of, of this uh, broadband, the short messages begin to disappear or getting very small. Voice is flat and in some way is going down. Fixed lines are, are also going down or flat. And uh, we have a big growth in, in uh, video that make data expansion uh, and use of the data expansion with, with astronomical numbers. Today, still, the number of uh, data in the fixed lines, in the fixed networks, are higher than mobile, and mainly because of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi has been also a big supporter to, to the networks of mobile to, to uh, make the, the conduction of many of the, of the data and the and the demand of the network through the fiber optic and the Wi-Fi. Uh, but now with the four and a half G and the five G that is coming, uh, speed and the expansion will be uh, still very big. We are just in the beginning of, of all these developments and uh, we will have big changes with the internet of things that is coming every time uh, uh, advancing every day uh, in this, in this uh, uh, way. The speed and the volume uh, and the new applications of Internet of Things will be maybe still uh, not uh, commensurable, but uh, very big. We have still, but we have still many rural areas without connectivity. And I think that's one of the big changes that we have uh, in the world, the, in the society, in our countries, but also like a responsibility and one of the challenges of this, of this commission. We still have many rural areas without connectivity, and it is necessary that government and regulators take conscience and actions of the importance of the universal connectivity. The main ob obstacles are limited, limited and, ex and expensive spectrum. So, so some uh, 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 aggregate values taxes, special taxes for telecommunications in some countries, uh, taxes in the importation of equipment and handsets, and the problem uh, that uh, has not made it uh, more uh, possible is that the smartphones were very expensive. We have followed how the, the handsets has been go down. First, the digital handsets were over $100. Then the smartphones were also over $100. Now we are having smartphones at $50. And as much as it go uh, follow in this direction, we can have connectivity. Because with co connectivity is not enough if we have the network. 
the network is uh, necessary and is uh, the main investment. But also we need that the people and, and, and the population can have the smart hand, uh, handsets to use this network. And I think it's one of the points that should be pushed strongly to make it feasible as soon as possible. Broadband is transforming all sectors and activities of our society. We need to make that everyone shares the benefits of the digital society. Uh, in the world that we are, uh, uh, the, the things that we're working in, in, the, in this commission, there are, like you know, a few working groups, and they are, uh, some of them concluding the reports. We will have uh, some of this information during the, this, the meeting, uh, se this meeting session. Uh, I, I, uh, I am clear, I think we are clear that we need that governments and regulators make of the universal connectivity the, pri the main priority and target. It's very important that they be clear that it is the main priority of a modern society to give uh, uh, the priority to this universal connectivity. I thank you, all of you, for coming, and I hope we have a very productive session. Thank you very much.